My son is terrified of his father. Today I found out the disgusting things he did to him. My husband has been extremely secretive about what he does in the basement. He refuses to let me in there and he's been in there alone with our son. I assumed they were working on a project together, but I never could have imagined the horrific truth of what he did. I first realized something effed up was going on when my son started acting differently. We were making pancakes, which my son Hank usually loves to help me with. Hank, can you run down to the basement and fetch me some more flour? I asked my son, who had just come downstairs for breakfast. He plopped down onto one of the kitchen chairs and shook his little head. No, he muttered. I can't. I craned my neck to look at him from the pancake mix bubbling on the stove. He seemed fidgety and pale, not at all like his usual self. Why not? He stared at me, his eyes wide. There are ghosts in the basement, Mom. My son was only young, just seven years old. It's normal for kids his age to imagine ghosts exists, or so I thought. Oh, don't be silly, I chuckled. Ghosts aren't real, sweetheart. Or even if they are, they live in very old, abandoned houses, much older than ours. Hank was silent, watching me as I poked at the batter in the pan. That's not true, is it? His voice was earnest and eerily calm, sending chills crawling up my spine. He was acting differently. Of course it's true, I assured him. Think about it. What is a ghost? Hank thought for a moment. Someone who's dead? I nodded. Exactly. And no one has died in our house. We bought it brand new last year, remember? So we can't have ghosts. How do you know? He replied quickly. My heart skipped a beat and I turned to look at him again. For a seven-year-old, Hank was an incredibly deep thinker, a quality that had the capacity both to impress and to unnerve. How do I know what? 